mid-September Sunday in Shenandoah National Park. Getting some AT miles and camping at Big Meadows. How about it? Hey, please. Please. Just another kind of beauty. There's Blue Ridge Mountains just right on top of each other. Yeah. We imagine in this view, since I can't see it. There's a second view from Franklin Cliffs. I'm not going to climb up the wet rocks because I feel like I'm going to get the same view. There's a gate ahead. Indeed there is. Three little deers. There they are. Sit. Sit. My dog hasn't got a whiff of them. Mm -hmm. There they are. Staring at us. They're the great section boys. They're just like us. Yeah. I think they're section hiking just like us. Yeah. We got some more deer up there. These guys are right in the trail. So we might have to spook them off. Let's see if they go on their own first. The camera's not picking them up too good. Don't forget my good boy. He's not even barking at him. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. It's their house. We're just passing through it. Passing through Big Meadows Campground. The AT is going to end pretty soon. That's it for today. 3.1 miles. We're pretty close to mile 700. Little hit of fall, things to come. A little bit of rain, but I'm really getting too wet. Day two on the Appalachian Trail in Shenandoah National Park. We did a three mile hike yesterday. We didn't get here, we didn't start hiking until after 4 o'clock. It's uh, almost noon now, so we're definitely getting an earlier start, but we're only doing another three miles because once we complete this hike, we'll have made up all of the stuff we had to skip when we had to get off trail last year with the freak April snowstorm and me twisting my ankle. And seven tenths of a mile me and telemarketer are going to reach our 700 total 80 miles hiked milestone so that's pretty cool our last three 100 milestones have all been in pennsylvania it's where we hit 400 miles 500 miles 600 miles and it has taken us a while to get to 700 so, we started out at Timber Hollow Overlook, and we're going to Rock Spring Cabin Parking. We're actually going to pass by a section that we did a little bit of with my daughter and grandkids from here in June this year. So, all good stuff. And it's not raining today. So we're actually going to get some views. Probably won't get too many on the trail, but we certainly drove by a bunch. The trail is beautiful. I love the way 
when it's like spring, summer, fall, after a rain. It almost like adds a little bit of technicolor and everything looks like a deeper shade of what it was before the rain, if that makes sense. Seven hundred miles that we've now hiked of the Appalachian Trail. Woohoo! That's Hawksbill Mountain. We're gonna climb that today, or climb near it. I don't think the summit's on the AT. There are still so many beautiful flowers in Shenandoah. I really love it here. I'm going to be sad when we're done with it. I mean, we're still going to come back here and camp. But everything just just love the, the wildlife. The plant life. The views. sad thing about Shenandoah is how it came to be Shenandoah. So sometimes that makes me feel like I'm contributing to something not so great by paying the money to come here. The native tribes that lived here first were kicked off the land when white settlers came. The white settlers that came were kicked off the land and the government decided to make Shenandoah National Park. And it's like a lot of people feel bad for the families that were here for generations. Sometimes they forget that the reason that their family was here for generations were because they took the land by force from someone else whose family had been there for even more generations. So it's kind of weird. I'm not always sure I know how to feel about it. Well, today isn't necessarily a day of tons of views. Man, some of the rock formations here are just spectacular. Cool to see. You can see, see summer winding down up here and back home. Grass is browning, leaves doing a little bit of falling. And it's a bit chilly today. But it's a beautiful day here in Shenandoah. So the summit of Hawksbill Mountain, which is the highest point on Skyline Drive, by the way, but the summit is not on the Appalachian Trail. So we get to do some climbing with no views. Oh well. Whew. Lots of scree. I'm doing a very short walk through a scree field and it's inspired a song, so I'm going to sing it to you now. Scrambling scree don't make me smile. Makes me feel like I'm back in Roxylvania now. But I know I'm not. It's just a little spot. Reminding myself I'm in Virginia. And I didn't think I'd get a view today, but look at this beautiful view. You do not disappoint, Virginia. Scrambling scree, you were rocky and tough. But Virginia knows when enough's enough. And I'm happy to be back on firm footing now. So I'm stopped here. Sue's a little bit behind me. I'm waiting for her because I'm eyeballing this right here. 
Hawksville is the tallest point in Shenandoah. And I think I kind of want to climb up it. And I think Simbo would be okay with it, too. So I'm at the junction for the Hawksville Summit Trail, something like that, and the AT. And I didn't really want to go to the summit of Hawksville Mountain, but Telemarketer did. So she is, and I'm sitting on a rock, waiting for her to come back. And it's a little chilly here, so I'm wearing an extra layer. My rain jacket, which works great also as an extra layer in addition to a wind layer. And I'm making myself a hot drink. So I'm boiling some water. And I have some electrolyte powder and honey, honey stinger waffle. So I am going to have a nice warm electrolyte tea and snack. My electrolyte tea is all ready. I keep a 550 milligram Tokes Titanium cup with a lid in my day pack for situations just like this. So I'm going to let it cool for a little bit and then have a little snack and a drink. One of the views from Hawksville. We're not quite at the summit. Almost. All the fog blew off. It's a pretty beautiful day. Perfect hiking temperature. Here we go. Sue's sacrificing for me. Taking one for the team. She let me come up Hawksville Mountain, which I think is the highest point in Shenandoah. And me and Simba are just about at the summit. I can't wait to see the view. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Wow. I don't think this video is going to do it justice. That's pretty amazing. Thanks, Bradley. Last quarter mile or so to where Telemarketer's mom is picking us up. She's been our shuttle driver this trip, which has been great. This is where my daughter and my grandkids and Justin and I and Telemarketer and her daughter hiked back in June when we were here. Day three of hiking in Shenandoah National Park. We are going southbound. We started at High Top Mountain Parking. We're just doing a five mile hike to Powell Gap, but it starts with a thousand foot climb. We're about a quarter of a mile from the end of today's hike. We're going to get picked up at Powell Gap. Today was a good hike. We had a really beautiful view at High Top Mountain. That was about our only view, but that's all right. It's a nice trail. Looks like Virginia hasn't had a lot of rain, so it's looking a little too much like fall, a little too early in the season. Well, we enjoyed this hike.